So over the week, the past week and a half, we've been working on uh, installing the frame and the canopy on our RV-12. And to give you an overview of that whole process, um, you obviously start off with the uh, canopy frame, which we have already installed on the airframe. Um, the steps involve first doing some drilling and installing the, the bolts required to install these uh, pneumatics uh, lift pistons. Uh, and then installing bolts that attach it to the uh, the actual airframe and uh, to make sure that you have it positioned correctly before you do that install on the frame you're given some blocks and uh, these blocks help set the uh, proper dimension uh, angle for the uh, the rear bow on the frame to the uh, the roll bar on the airframe itself and then you install these uh, side angles because these side angles are used to actually hold the canopy in place along with the skirts that go on the side. So, um, so the work involves, you know, first putting the frame on, getting it positioned correctly, then installing these angles. And to install the angles, the frame itself is curved. So these angles, when you receive them, they're straight. And if you look on the inside, you have to do some fluting to get the proper curvature of these, these angles so that they follow the uh, curvature of the, uh, the canopy frame itself. So once you have those, um, the angles on, you've got the frame installed on the airframe itself, then you start thinking about installing the canopy. And to do that, again, you get your blocks to get the ov overall canopy in the right position. And then uh, you have to fit the canopy on, clamp it in place, and then determine where you're going to drill on this front bow. The rear bow has pre-drilled holes that you just match drill to, but the front bow, you have to establish the positions and then match drill through the, uh, the bow, through the canopy into the bow. And the procedure they give you for doing that is basically with the canopy off, you place some tape on in the approximate angle and just lightly apply the tape all the way across the bow. And then you set the canopy on, get it in the right position and then press down on the front edge of the canopy. And presumably what that's gonna do is then press down the tape onto the front bow, showing you where the, uh, the contact point is. And then you uh, go in and mark the tape in the locations that you want to drill. And then you drill the bow first with some undersized holes, put the canopy on, and then you match drill through the canopy with a number 30 plexiglass bit. And once you have that on and the position correct, then you have to check to make sure that you have the proper gaps all around for the canopy. So there's supposed to be an eighth inch gap from the top of this frame to the bottom of the canopy. There's supposed to be an eighth inch gap from the front of the uh, instrument panel to the front of the uh, canopy. And we created some shims that help us with that. So we just, these are eighth inch shims. So we put them all along the front of the canopy, slid the canopy up against that and that set that gap for us. And then there's also a, a prescribed gap between the rear of the uh, canopy and the uh, front of the aft window. And so once you have defined how much material that you need to remove from the canopy to get the right gaps all the way around, then you start uh, um, sanding and grinding on the canopy to get it to the right, uh, right size. And I mentioned before that uh, when you're drilling through the, uh, the canopy, uh, you really need to be using the right types of bits. And what's recommended is a plexiglass bit. It's, uh, this one here in my left hand, it's got a, you can see it's got a very sharp point. Uh, and you can compare that to a standard bit, um, which has typically a 110 degree angle at the tip. This one has a 60 degree angle. And what it's designed to do is drill through the plexiglass very quickly without uh, chipping or cracking it. So 
Um, it's really important to use these types of bits uh, wherever you have to drill through the canopy. Okay, so um, what we have here is our canopy set up on a bench and I talked about once you've established the, the amount of material that you need to remove to get the proper gaps all the way around the canopy, um, you have to do a, a combination of uh, sanding and, and grinding um, to get the uh, canopy to the right dimensions. And we found a combination of tools that worked well were, you know, block sanders with 80 grit sandpaper on them or orbital sanders, depending on how much you need to remove. We've got these, uh, you know, battery powered sanders. And if you have to take a lot of material off, we had one area where we had close to a quarter of an inch of extra material that we had to remove. And it would have taken us days, but we found that uh, this uh, angle grinder with a 80 grit sanding wheel worked really well for uh, removing that material quickly without damaging the uh, plexiglass. And then you might know is that when you're sanding plexiglass, it generates a lot of dust, so highly recommend you can see the dust all over the canopy plastic there using um, you know some face some masks and uh, eye protection uh, as well as gloves and whatever you're wearing is going to get coated with plexiglass dust but once you've got it down to the nearly the final position that you want it at in terms of uh, grinding we found that this um, countertop uh, shaver works well for removing that that last bit of material to give you a nice clean edge so as an example it's basically just a piece of steel with a sharp edge and you just drag it along and it shaves that last little bit of plexiglass off and then it gives you a nice clean edge um, on the the canopy so that you don't end up with that sanded finish appearance on the canopy. So uh, our canopy has now been completely finished and it's uh, just about ready to be installed. So that's what we're going to be working on during our next build session.